Okay, here's the plan. First take some recon photos around the area. Then make your way up to the re-education tower. Looks... pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. Bentley, there's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the Claw Gang and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward! You're a disgrace to Interpol! I'll make it my life's work to destroy you! Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help her. Hey, Murray, can you see the general from there? Nope. Just an old man coming up the ramp. Don't let his appearance fool you. That's General Clawfoot. And he's one of the toughest old soldiers you'll ever see. Not to mention head of castle security. What if he doesn't want to come? I don't want to hurt him. Oh, don't worry about that. He's only afraid of two things. Fire and water. Other than that, you couldn't hurt him if you wanted to. He might even come in handy along the way, as a projectile. Wow, that is handy. Well, well, General Clawfoot, we've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates, hmm? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Talk, you scoundrel! <laughs> That's it! I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow! Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo! I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts! Wow, sounds easy! Not really! Bad Mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow, sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. All right, Sly. There's your new objective. Sneak inside and smash the coffin of the evil wolf priestess. Sounds pretty harsh. Does the old girl really deserve that sort of treatment? Weren't you listening? She was an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. I've modified the imager in your binocucom to capture ghosts. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts, then set them free down the chimney of Neela's headquarters. I get you. 
she'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Neela should respond to the assault by purchasing more firepower. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us. And we get to really freak out Neela. How are you going to hack the computers down there when they've got no power? According to General Clawfoot, a mobile energy source is stored at the end of this hallway. Hallway is a pretty kind term for what looks to me like a complex medieval gauntlet of death. Yes, well, while the idea of jumping down a crypt filled with whirling, razor-sharp spikes might scare me, in fact, terrorized by every fiber, it's the only way to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. Without that thing online, we'll never get at the Clockwork Eyes or free Carmelita. You're a good man, Bentley. Just make sure those traps don't rip you into a hundred little turtle pieces. Why'd you have to say that? I'll get you, Contessa! Oh, how many times must you say that? It's not going to happen. I'm dead serious. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll get you. I mean it. I'll get you. Yes, yes, so I've heard. Inspector Fox, why fight it? Don't you want to be my friend? No, you horrible eight-legged cow. No. The Contessa plans on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, she'll have to jack it into the satellite connection beneath Neela's headquarters. So, I'm guessing you'd like me to steal the device and hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. You'll have to steal a few keys here and there to get access to the more secure areas of the castle. If there's pockets to be picked, I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. That head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. Looks like we got lucky. The Contessa's men have already excavated Neela's satellite cable. How should I proceed? Splice in the wiretap, then attach the voice modulator. I'll broadcast from the safe house to make sure it works. This is going to be so cool. That should do it. Now that you're done being a warmonger, feel like paragliding over to that blimp? Just make sure to grab the rope hanging off that thing. I don't want to drown. Don't worry, my dear. I still have time to finish with your readjustment. Let me out of here and I'll readjust your face. Okay, partner. Looks like the Shadow Guard is out of the picture. You ready to free our violent little princess? Affirmative. That Iron Tech 250 is a fully integrated system. Access to Carmelita's restraints has to be in this old terminal somewhere. Aha! I've isolated the brain pattern. You and I are about to become the best of friends. Okay, new best friend. Hands up, and I mean all of them. My dear, you really should. <gasps> Shadow Guard! Shadow Guard! Come back here, you witch! That Carmelita, always trying to resolve her problems with a shock pistol. She is rather truculent. Stand clear, Sly. This might have a larger blast than anticipated. Bentley! You okay? This is no place for an asthmatic. But I've located one of the clockwork eyes. Can you find the other? No worries, chaps. It's safely in hand. Neela? Thanks for clearing out the Contessa. Nothing I did could pry her away from the clockwork eyes. Hmm, wouldn't she be enough for the old bird? Ta-ta! Bentley, take the eye and escape on the blimp. I'm going after Neela. But... The plan! It... This wasn't in the plan! Don't you dare! That eye is mine! It's mine! Actually, Mr. Cooper, the eye belongs to me. That eye belongs to me, and I want it back! No way. You think I'm crazy? Actually, on second thought, don't answer that. I really don't want your professional opinion. Not crazy, just stupid. You're an ignorant child playing dress-up in his father's legacy. Oh, I know all about you and the Cooper clan. Then you'll understand why this eye needs to be destroyed. Short-sighted fool! 
I've no interest in your narrow interpretation of morality. I'm above all that. Above good and evil. And you think I'd give the eye to someone that's above morality? Enough talk, insect. It will be just as easy and more fun to pry it from your cold, dead hand. Enough. You've shown me the error of my ways. I feel sorry for you. All your education and you still don't know right from wrong. Huh? Oof! I know enough not to let my guard down around an intellectually superior opponent. She got the eye? She's got the eye! There's nowhere left to run. We both know I can beat you in a fight. So why don't you just hand over the eye? You're right, Cooper. In a battle of strength, you've proven yourself. But with this clockwork eye, I can battle in your mind. <laughs>